you're watching Who's on Deck. I'm your host, Leah Guy, and today we have a fascinating show with fascinating women, and I'm so happy that there's more estrogen on here than I've ever had so far. Miss Jennifer Hutt, not that she's having all the estrogen, but we have two yeah. women on today. Too Isn't much that great? estrogen makes me bloat. So. <laughs> well, I've had too much testosterone, and then oh. I get in trouble for flirting and well, showing my say, breasts yeah. and things like that. Well, too much, well, it's true. Too much testosterone will make you have sex more. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, uh -huh. you also have a book out. I do. It's Whatever Land. Mm -hmm. Where did the whatever stuff come from? Well, whatever came from Alexis, my former co-host and my co-author, mm -hmm. that her idea was to do a radio show about whatever. whatever. And so, so it's we not like a smart-ass kind of response. It's just kind of well, about... Well, it is. It, it encompasses everything. So because mm -hmm. the word whatever, it's like we can use whatever. Like, what do you want to do? Whatever or of whatever. Right. I mean, there's so many different ways we could use that word in a sentence and it's humorous it's just fun yeah it is fun well you have several personal connections I guess to Alexis Alexis is Alexis Stewart right you guys broke up as friends yes you, we've seen it on the talk shows yeah, morning shows yeah it's not a secret but was it was it weird or is it weird now having this book with someone well that first of all the, this we stopped working together in June mm -hmm. so it's already been a long time and uh the book isn't about how to endure lasting female friendships. If it were about that, I think that um, Alexis probably wouldn't have written it. Mm. And I think that when you are the daughter of an icon, people tend to put you under a microscope yeah. and put the dynamics of their relationship under a microscope. And I think that part of it is kind of unfair. And she just talks about growing up like I do. I learned a lot of good things from Alexis. Oh yeah, I'm sure. And I'm sure she has many Definitely. Endearing qualities to her. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say things she learned from me. I think probably <laughs> yeah. too. But I'm sure she did learn things from you. Yeah. So what do you think is special about your advice that it needs to be in a book? You think it's because you're a mother, your background, or what is it? Well, no, I, I think it's actually the, the opposite of being special. I think that I... I'm lucky to have had this job where I get to talk to people mm -hmm. and I think the fact that I'm just like everybody else and they can see me go through pain and happy times and everything just life in a very open and real way might give someone else comfort because mm. basically I'm somewhat of a freak <laughs> you are a little so, neurotic but I'm I nuts, am too but I'm totally nuts but I, I really feel ultimately there's nothing that I can't laugh at and I feel that there's no experience that any of us have really that mm -hmm. is that well on the one hand it's all totally unique but on the other hand right. it's not even kind of unique mm -hmm. so whatever I go through somebody else at home is going through too and I feel like if they see that I struggle and then can triumph even if the triumph isn't pretty mm -hmm. then that might make them feel a little bit better about themselves. Mm -hmm.